So it's time to summarize challenge number four. So we'll recap our story very briefly. Um, you've completed the lead creation wizard and you're satisfied with the testing and debugging that you went through. You contact Pedro, the sales manager, and let him know that he can test the screen flow inside the universal container full copy sandbox. Pedro is really impressed that you were able to build this all out in a single morning. He's even more impressed that the screen flow has all his requirements built in. It's even better than he was expecting. He asks for a few minor changes to the call script text so that it reads a little bit better, but is otherwise very happy with your work. He asks if you can make this available to his team members today, and you say, no problem. He thanks you again for your hard work and lets you begin deploying the flow to production. So great work. That is another successful flow in the books for you. And I think this is probably um, the first kind of real screen flow that we've built together, other than the you know testing one or the, the basics one we did in the very beginning of the course. So let's kind of put some of the pieces together. Um, overall, in this challenge, we were able to help the sales team. And we were specifically able to help Pedro improve the productivity of the junior sales team by giving them a really easy way to create leads and capture all the necessary information um, in a repeatable fashion. And this is really helpful because now if Pedro onboards a new team member, he doesn't really have to train them on how to create um, leads in Salesforce. He can just say, hey, use this screen wizard and all your problems will be solved. So that's an awesome feeling for Pedro and it's an awesome feeling for you as a flow builder. Um, inside the flow itself, we built a screen flow with all the needed information, and we learned about some uh, new concepts in this challenge. And so while it wasn't new per se, we did spend time using an assignment element to manually update a record single variable. And that was the lead variable that we created so that we could pull in uh, fields to our screen. And so that was the first time we've probably done it manually or created a variable manually. manually. And so that, that was a good thing for you to learn inside this challenge. We also discussed the fault path and how we can attach a fault path to any database element, like the create records, the update records, or the delete records, um, that allows us to define an error path inside the flow. And we connected our fault path in this challenge to a simple screen that just said there was an error and let the end user know what that error was. We also discussed the rollback records for the first time. And when we're working with screen flows and debugging them, um, they often will just automatically create records in Salesforce. And so when we're debugging, it's sometimes, sometimes helpful to put a rollback records on the canvas. And that way our debugging of screen flows isn't actually, actually creating real data. We also talked about how we could connect a fault path to a rollback records inside of a different type of flow so that if there was an error somewhere in the flow, our flow could roll back all the changes up to that point. We went in detail talking about the lookup component and how we can use it to find uh, records inside Salesforce and present them to an end user. And we also deployed our flow with a utility item so that we were able to take a screen and just kind of put it in an easy to use or easy to access place for an end user. And that's a lot. You know, that's a lot to cover in one challenge. So if you uh, followed every step along the way, great job. Um, you know, you are now further ahead than many of the people that I even work with on a day-to-day -day basis with, with screen flows. So great work. Um, we debugged our flow along the way and ultimately achieved success at the end. So great job. I guess that's it for the challenge. I hope you feel like you're learning fast um, because we're definitely moving through the material quickly. Um, make sure to keep going throughout the course, keep upgrading your Salesforce skills, and we'll continue this in the next lecture. I will see you in challenge five.